and we are here with resident Cheesy Gordita Crunch expert. Hey, I'm Cameron. I'm Clint. Today we have the new Nacho Cheese Doritos Cheesy Gordita Crunch. Where the cheese at? Yeah, so the flatbread, cheese, loco, nacho, shell, meat, cheese, lettuce, and baja sauce. I remember when we had just the tacos, I thought it was, the taco shell was weird because I was expecting like a Doritos uh, texture. Yep. And it's it's different. It's like tougher mm -hmm. than Doritos. And you can tell when you bite into it like, ah, this isn't really Doritos. When you're when you're eating the cheesy gordita crunch, you can't really tell. That's true. <laughs> Let's try this version of it. All right, cool. This seems like a really good high school meal. Or perhaps college freshman meal if you're not allowed to eat fast food in high school. Taco Bell beef. If you're a fan of that, this is a, it, there's a lot of Taco Bell beef flavor in it. The nacho cheese, I would say, almost balances the flavor more than just like a plain cheese gordita crunch, to where you're not tasting as much of the of the flavors. I feel like I'm not getting as many flavors as I normally do. It cancels out the flavors. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Once again, like this texture mm -hmm. of flatbread versus taco shell. That's the gordita crunch part of the cheesy gordita crunch. I would definitely put some hot sauce on this. I don't usually go hot sauce, but I need like a kick out of this. It's a little more bland than the other one, right? Mm -hmm. Cheese plus cheese equals no cheese somehow. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make any sense. Taco Bell can find a way to make two flavors equal no flavors. Believe that. I believe it. Because I experienced it. <laughs> Scale of 1 to 37, I'm going to go 25 out of 37. 32 out of 37? Thanks for tuning in to the Two Minute Reviews!